My son Apollo is absolutely obsessed with airplanes, particularly a green beaver on the lake. In this short video, Pilot Wes invited a few of us local pilots and our boys to go fishing in the wilderness right near Homer, Alaska. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited. This is your dream to fly in the green beaver. Yeah. Oh my, my dream. Wes has been flying for 32 years in his own Beluga Lake Air for eight. He's done wheels and floats over his time and has been flying in Alaska for 13 years. He's got oodles of experience and plenty of crazy stories. With COVID being such a huge thing right now, the tourism season in Alaska has all but been destroyed. The silver lining, if you want to call it that, is the ability to do things like this that typically busy Alaskans don't get to do in the summer. Usually, Wes would be very busy during the season and we wouldn't get to do something like this. We'd be landing at Leisure Lake, just a hop, skip, and a jump from Homer. Flying in Alaska is often different. You're flying low, you're flying slow, you're right over the trees making your approach to a remote lake. Uh, you're, you're finding this tight fit through a slot canyon as your best approach. And you can see that here as we come in for a landing on the lake. Apollo, was that flight pretty cool? Yeah. Is that everything you dreamed of? Did you got to ride in a big green beaver? He will talk about this nonstop for days now. Hey, we oh, can... there's already an anchor there. Look, Joe, you lucked out. There's an anchor laying there. We don't have to use you. Oh, lucky. We brought him for nothing, apparently. <laughs> we can use two anchors. It's crazy there's a fire ring. Yeah, they got a sweet little camp spot here back really? in the trees too. Yeah, there's one right here and there's another one and there's a bear box back in there too. Jimmy is another local longtime bush pilot. Uh, he'd be joining us too. His boys Bryce and Joe came along as well. Now that we're on the beach, it's time to tackle up and try for some fish. The thing I reflect on about moments like this is I'll miss it if I'm head down in a camera trying to do some sort of amazing production. It's all about taking it in, being in the moment, enjoying each other's company, building memories with my son. So this may not be the most well-produced video ever, but this is just a feel of, I guess, what matters, what matters most and doing things that matter even when times are tough. There is something about reconnecting with nature during a time like this and just being out with the boys and adventuring is everything. Oh my gosh! That's excited. decent! Joe, stand next to Bryce. There you go, little buddy. Yeah. There he goes. I think this might actually be a good spot because of the stream. Yeah, that's what I like to play in it. I don't know much yeah, about like fishing, but the only the like ones the we've caught caught here were either were right where the stream came out, and when like three years ago the stream came out right underneath that tree. Okay. So we caught them all there, and then last couple years it came out over by one of the cabins over there. Interesting. And the only way I've like ever that. been able to catch them is to throw little red and green things just right where the huh. stream goes out. Right on, Bryce. Good job. Two nothing. Thank you. Just watched Bryce catch his second fish. Pretty cool. Doesn't matter what size. It's just fun, wild fish. 
Yep, follow Bill. We're going down to the water. Whoa! Oh, man. No, oh, it's okay. Just pick yourself up and keep going. Whoa. Be careful and go right to where they are. Can you help me too? Just kidding. Leave your hand. <laughs> Put both your hands in there. What in the stick? Good. I just got it. Look what I just did. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, but it's a fair root of That's some rotten you. wood. Do you like it over here, Apollo? Look, I think this might be the same tree you got your little green thing on. Do you want to look again? Is this the same kind of tree? Okay, pick one more leaf. It might come back. So we're done here. We're loading up. Apollo and I are hiking back through the woods. And I think they had a fun time. Apollo didn't catch any fish, but he had a good time. He is an explorer, that's for sure. So that was a fun, short little trip, and it's time to head back to Homer. As you enjoy these closing scenes, just remember that there is silver lining with all of the rough stuff going on in the world recently. There are precious moments, things that we can find that are deeply meaningful and, and memories that will last forever. So it's there if you slow down and look for it. Certainly if you slow down and look for it. This can be a special time, just like this trip we had with the boy. So Maybe there's something that you can find. Maybe it's even aviation related that you can do with your family or maybe even as some self-care to make this a special memory, a special time in your life. And just to think that at no other time in any other year that we've all been around, this would have been possible. It just reminds me that maybe we need to look at things a little bit differently in the future to create more memories like this. All right, all done, we're back. The boys are unloaded, had a great time. It's kind of cool that we all have boys around the same age and we can all kind of take them out for a father-son thing. So hope you enjoyed and until next time, throttle on.